Hi guys, this is Emily. I um, don't have any pizza, but I made a bunch of mini tacos. Hopefully that's greasy enough for your standards. Um, I don't really have that much to talk about this week since we didn't really have a formal challenge issued besides pizza. And I don't eat pizza, nor do I particularly like pizza. I can't really show you around my room because my webcam right here is actually on the desktop. It's not on the laptop like most of you people. Um, I suppose I could point out what's behind me though. So I think that we will do that as our start and I can just sort of tell you what's on the other walls and you'll just have to believe me. Okay, so right behind me on this side, these are, other hands, these are my chalkboard. They're like chalkboard paint. So they're not actually like chalkboards, but I painted them on my wall. They don't work very well, which is sort of upsetting. Um, right here, doo -doo -doo, right here, we actually have two pictures of me. There are other pictures of me in my room, actually, because my friend Riley took them. Left of that, we have pictures from Vogue, and then we have a bunch of prom dresses that I did not wear because I did not go to prom. Um, then right here, we have my sewing machine, woot woot, and you can sort of see the very, very top of my overlocker. <laughs> It's like right there. Um, right over here is actually sort of my sewing table. That's what takes up the majority of this wall. Back behind it, it's a whole bunch of fabric, and I have fabric on my chair, and my dress form is hanging out there, and my room is just generally a disaster all the time. Right above my head is my character wall. It's mostly my character wall. This right here is a set list from something that I went to. And then up here I have, whoop, 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 my hand moved the wrong way. Up here I have my badges from various cons and stuff. The only one that doesn't have a badge up there is that anime, because I didn't buy a badge for that because I'm poor. Um, right there we have my closet. The whole bunch of stuff in it. Right there we have my bed. The also with a whole bunch of stuff on it. And, um... <clears throat> I guess something else I wanted to do this week was sort of go through the weirder things in my closet since I figured that if the only challenge is to eat pizza that I might just pose something else just in case you don't like and or don't have pizza. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go through the sort of weird stuff that I have in my closet. <laughs> Most of the stuff is just really old. It's not really that weird, it's just kind of old. Um, this thing, however, is not old. Um, it is a jacket. Third sewing project ever. Made it myself. Obviously, that would imply that it's a sewing project. Um, I actually wore it to Japantown for the opening of the Baby the Starshine Bright store, which was kind of funny because I knew absolutely nothing about Lolita at the time, so this is obviously, I'm sure Polly is like dying right now. It's really not appropriate for anything, especially because it's made out of denim. But it's got a really nice cut in the back. And I like that. It was the first time I ever did sleeves, and that was a pain in the ass. But yeah, so that's that. The shirt I'm actually wearing today, I bought in a tiny little kitchen store in Washington for like $15. It's sort of see-through though, so I have to wear a tank top underneath. <laughs> Thing number two is a cape. Got this from my grandmother on my dad's side, who just had it, and was like, hey, I never wear this cape. My granddaughter's kind of weird. Maybe she'll want this cape. And lo and behold, she was right, because I did. It's, it's a cape. It's really long right now. I need to cut it so it is shorter and maybe take this collar thing and make it into a hood. But yeah, there you go. I have a cape. It's really long. I don't think it's actually that old, but, you know, you never know. It could be really old. This thing, on the other hand, I know is really old. This is... A jacket that my grandmother had when she lived in New York and that was about 50 60 years ago still really good condition probably because it's super heavy and once she moved out to anywhere besides New York she did not need it anymore but yeah it's got real fur on it this this and this are all real fur which is sort of depressing depressing for vegetarians but it's really old and I got it for free so there's not really anything I can do um, I'm thinking about possibly wearing this when I go off to college, wherever that is, just because it's really super warm and everywhere I'm going is really super cold. Um, 
Last thing. Boop, boop, boop. Hat. Hat. We call this the fancy red pancake. It is also a hat from the 1940s when my grandmother moved to New York. There used to be a bird on it. Now it's a thing. It's not really a bird anymore. But yeah, it's still a really cool hat and I think it's pretty awesome. And it's the, one of my only hats that is not affected by the fact that my head is ginormous, which is kind of nice. Also, if you're wondering where my bangs went, I pinned them back because they look disgusting today. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all I really have to say. Bye guys.